Okay, we're picking up where we left off um, yesterday. Um, we talked about the oceans are about 3% salt. Um, so 100 pounds of ocean water, um, three of it, three of those pounds would be salt. Uh, the other 97 pounds would be water. Now, the big question is, where does that water or where does that salt come from? Well, here is where it happens, okay? Uh, we have a rain, snow, sleet, hail, falling on the land, okay? So um, we have some rain falling on the land, and it's going to run into creeks, into rivers, and that, those rivers are going to um, dump into the ocean. So let's say it rained here today, and that rain went into um, Skunk Creek, which went into the Big Sioux River, which went into the Missouri River, which went into the Mississippi, which dumped out in the Gulf of Mexico. Okay, well, that water, that runoff, <coughs> is going to pick up salt and other substances. It's gonna dissolve salt in it. Okay, there's naturally salt, salt in the soil and on rocks, okay? Uh, maybe you've seen your dog like chewing on a rock before or licking it, okay? Um, there's some salt or some sort of mineral that, that he tasted that he wants. Um, I've seen cattle like um, chewing up um, new dirt and licking it and whatever because it, it's salty. So there's salt naturally in the soil. And that water that runs over it from the heavy rain is going to pick up some of that salt. It's going to dissolve some of that salt. And then that salt's going to go from the Big Sioux River to the Missouri to the Mississippi and dumped into the ocean. Here's a term here I'd like you to know, salinity. <coughs> the salinity of something is the measure of the amount of salt dissolved in ocean water. So salinity means salt. Anything saline means salt. If you have contacts, you might soak them or clean them in saline solution. Okay, well, that's not just water. It's a kind of a, a salt mix that's supposed to be very similar to your natural eye tears. If you've ever tasted your tears, they're salty. Okay, well, that saline solution is meant to be very similar to what your body naturally produces. Um, let's say you get super dehydrated and you go to the doctor and they have to give you an IV. Okay, that's saline solution. Okay, they're basically going to pump you with water and a salt mineral mixture of stuff that your body naturally creates. So saline um, means salt. <coughs> okay, um, I'd probably write this down. Animals and plants in the oceans use the substances brought to the ocean. So there are little critters in the ocean that are going to use some of that salt and some of those minerals. And because of that, the water never gets saltier. So the water never gets saltier. You would think, okay, as we dump more and more salt into the ocean from rivers, you would think it gets saltier, but it doesn't because um, animals are going to use that. For example, let's say you are a fisherman, okay, and you fish for tuna, okay? Tuna is an ocean critter. It is a saltwater fish, okay? So when you pull that tuna out, it's going to have water inside it that, is, that has salt in it. It's going to have parts of its body are going to have salt in it from the ocean. Well, when you take out tuna, you're taking salt out of the ocean. If a bird swoops down in and eats a fish out of the ocean, they're taking salt out of the ocean. So yes, we're adding salt all the time, but we're also taking some out. So the, um, the salinity of the ocean never gets more than 3%. There are other places <laughs> that have higher concentrations of salt 
the Dead Sea is an example there. I want to say the Dead Sea is somewhere around 40% salt. Um, it's famous for nothing really growing in it. That's why they call it the Dead Sea. And um, you can pretty much float on top of the water because the salt makes the water more dense. Uh, a few years back, I went to, um, on my way to the Rose Bowl. Uh, we stopped, my wife and I kind of made a road trip of it, and we stopped in Salt Lake City. And we figured we'd spend like at least part of the day, like we'd go to the Great Salt Lake, we'd look at it and check it out, whatever. Um, well, we stopped in like the little visitor center when we got there, and I was expecting to see lots of wildlife and all that, but um, it turns out uh, this Great Salt Lake is like, Great Salt Lake is like 30% um, salt. And there's only like one little species of shrimp that's about the size of your thumb that lives in it. So I was expecting to see uh, birds and fish and all this stuff and it was kind of like the Dead Sea. There was nothing there because of the, the salt. A lot of, most living things can't handle that amount much salt. If you um, drink salt water, you're gonna get sick and dehydrate. 